What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Game Boy Swag, here today. I got a couple of things. First of all, we got a PSA submission back. We got a couple pickups and a stack of stuff that we're going to submit to PSA, but we're still trying to build this pile up. I'm probably going to get a couple more things from Card Party this weekend. Uh, let's go over the stuff I just picked up. I got this from the Pokemon Regional Event over here in New Orleans. It was pretty cool. Paid 12 bucks for this Dragon's Exalted promo card from like the pre-release events. I feel like I got a pretty good steal on this. This was going for about 200 and the seller was asking 130 for it. I couldn't pass that up. And then a buddy of mine traded me this Crystal Celebi for a couple graded cards that I had. It's a PSA 5. Not the craziest grade, but definitely love this card. And I was like, yeah, let's trade. So grab that. And then this, somebody just traded me some action figures. Well, I traded somebody some action figures for this stack. It's not the craziest cards. Um, but... It's like whatever stuff. I definitely wouldn't have submitted this stuff to get graded, but that's just me. But some of it's pretty cool. The stuff I traded for, I didn't have much money into. So I figured, I don't know, I can make $10 mystery slab blonde bags or something like that. I don't even know. Put like a pack in there or something. Let me know what y'all think about that with these cards. Uh, it's some cool cards, but nothing crazy. This is the stack of stuff that I'm going to be submitting to PSA next time. Mimikyu VMAX. Celebi V Alt Art. Skyla Full Art. Garchop and Garatina GX. Uh, this is the promo from Sun and Moon. Tyranitar from Paldea Evolved. Iron Boulder, Gouging Fire, this Palafin, this Charizard, this Tashkirizi, I don't even know that guy's name, dope card though, another Blastoise from 151, this Gardevoir Level X, not the best condition, probably will get like a 5 or 6, but I'll just have it slabbed up with the rest of my stuff, this Nitto King, this X and Y Furious Fists pre-release card, and this is the staff version. This Gengar Level X, and this Game Boy Lugia promo. This thing is in really good condition. I'm hoping it gets at least a 9. A 10 would be crazy. I'm not shooting for a 10, but that'd be crazy. Definitely a beautiful card. All right, let's get to the PSA stack. First up, we got a couple of old school EX cards. This one is pretty bent. Uh, just submitted it last minute. You can see that bend right here. Got a PSA 3. Salamance EX. Got a PSA 3. It's got a couple of creases. The grader dinged me pretty hard. Normally, you know, with the creases, I'll get like a 4 or 5, but he gave me 3 on all of these, but whatever. That's fun. A Reggie Ice EX PSA 3. I'm not going to keep the 3 PSA theme going too long. Because next up is a Skeptile EX PSA 9. The crazy thing is this came in a box of cards that was not sleeved. Just loose. And it graded the PSA 9. I always loved this card as a kid. Had it in my magazine. Had it like starred and all sorts of stuff. Level X, Reggie Gigas. And a Reggie Steel EX. This was another card that was in that box of cards that was loose, no sleeves, no nothing. It grabbed the PSA 10. This card's going for about 300. I definitely was not expecting that. I mean, it was clean, but I didn't expect to get a 10 at all. We got this Fire Mewtwo EX from Ruby and Sapphire, PSA 6. 
this Gengar EX. I wasn't expecting the four. I was hoping to get at least a, like a five. It's had a little crease right here, but whatever. Still happy to have this card because I got the level X I'm going to submit, and I just got the Prime, so I got all the cool Gengar cards from that mid-era. And then this Rayquaza EX PSA 5. I'm happy with this grade. I kind of knew it was pretty low grade. I uh, just really wanted this card. These are ones that I had starred in my magazines when I was a kid. So definitely had to pull the trigger on these. If I ever get a chance to upgrade them, I definitely will. This was another card in that box of cards with no sleeves. It's a Hollow Steelix from Sky Ridge. PSA 8. Can't complain about that one bit. Another card in that box. No sleeve, no nothing. PSA 8 Squirtle from, I think it's, oh yeah, Magma and Aqua. Magma versus Aqua. And then this is another card from that stack. And this one, you know, is kind of fits the description of how I got the cards with no sleeves, no nothing. Has that wicked crease on the bottom. It got the PSA too, but it's like, with these legendary collection cards, it's so hard to see that, and I don't even mind. This is another card from that box where nothing was sleeved up. First edition Houndor from Neo Discovery, first edition. First edition Magnemite, PSA 8, another one from that with no sleeve, no nothing. Boot top. Somebody traded me this at a local card show. Uh, Raw. Got the PSA 8. Very happy with that. Always loved this artwork. Next up, to add to the Garantina army, is a Japanese Garantina. You can see the condition. I mean, not the condition. The uh, texture is just a million times better than these Japanese ones. However, everybody's going googly eyes over that Garantina V-Star in English. So I'm going to be bringing three of those to card party uh, to trade. So Next up, Mewtwo V-Star PSA 10. Grabbed this from a pawn shop. I think I traded for it. Didn't trade much for it. Just some random stuff because the guy didn't care. PSA 9, Iron Valiant. I was really hoping for the 10 on this one. It was pretty clean of a card. Uh, maybe I'll crack it and send it again. I love the Iron Thorns right here in the background, though. Next up, Glaceon V. Got this from a pawn shop. PSA 10, can't complain about that. Single Strike Urshifu VMAX. This I actually got from a card show raw. And it was in a binder full of all the trainer gallery stuff. And he had a dollar marked on it. And I didn't realize it was an alt art at the time. So I just grabbed it with a stack of Charizard uh, trainer galleries and Gengar trainer galleries. And yeah, I got home and I realized it was a alt art. Maybe a couple weeks after I got home, actually. Next up. Rayquaza VMAX, PSA 9, got this in a trade. I was hoping for the 10, of course, but I did not get the 10. Luckily, I have a 10 already in my collection. Next up, Origin Form Dialga, PSA 10. I think I pulled that one. A Japanese Deoxys from V-Star Universe. This is one of my favorite Deoxys artworks. Very disappointed in this one. I uh, paid a pretty penny for this card because it was clean. But the grader did not think it was clean enough for a PSA 10. So I guess I'm going to be cracking this one out and trying one more time. Beautiful card though. Next up we have an Iron Thorns EX. I just opened a couple packs of these. Uh, what was that newest set? Can't remember. Uh, something Haze. Crimson Haze, maybe. Love the artwork on this one. Love the texturing. I don't know. Huge fan of Iron Thorns. Love Tyranitar. So, had to get that one graded. Next up, we got this Walking Wake EX. 
pretty cool card. I don't know if these, um, these full arts are kind of growing on me. Not full arts, those dogs are kind of growing on me in dinosaur form. Lastly, this is one I grabbed from the pawn shop. Wasn't really expecting the 10 on it. I was kind of thinking I was going to get the 9, but I went ahead and submitted it anyway, and I'm glad I did because it secured the 10. This card's relatively cheap. So in a 9, it probably would have been 30 or $40, but in a 10, it was like 100 to 125 something like that. But yeah, that's about sums it up. I will be see y'all at card party next weekend. And if y'all see me there, holla at your boy. Alrighty, see y'all in the next video. Peace.